Good morning all you junkies out there. Welcome to Friday the 16th. Friday after school started. So we should not be looking at any crowds today. We'll hear some sirens, but no crowds. Let's get into the park. We're here with one of the biggest junkies of them all, hitting a milestone today. Hey, hello again, I'm here to hit 1,000 right on National Roller Coaster Day. What a perfect way to start. What a way to go. I mean, National Roller Coaster Day, 1,000 yeah. rides on Iron Gwazi, yeah. bro. Yeah. Good stuff. Awesome. Right. Awesome That's stuff. Awesome. Make sure you go ahead and follow him too. Let's Yep. So we decided to change things up a little bit. And uh, well, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And, and you know, tap on that bell for notifications too while you're at it. you're liking it so far uh, instead of us though we're gonna look forward on this one there is <laughs>
count. Five, six, who knows? <laughs> Eleven oh seven, and so far we've ridden Iron Bossy, Cheetah Hunt, Cobra's Curse, and now we're on Montu. What a great day to be at Bush Gardens! Parking is practically empty. General parking also looks pretty much empty. We'll take a look uh, when we get over this hill. Yeah, there's hardly anybody in there. Definitely school's back in session. So I don't know what happened, we'll, we'll find out, but we made our way over to the train and, welcome to the, and Express. the train is well, running, it's full track. For so let's join us. My check out the animals. For it is the tallest and fastest <laughs> steel inverted roller coaster in the southeastern United States, taking you to heights of 150 feet up and speeds of 65 miles per hour. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are slowly entering the Serengeti's belt. A reminder, our animals are free roaming, so they do have the right of way and they can cross the tracks at any time. Please keep all arms, legs, personal belongings inside of the train and remain seated. On the left hand side, you may have saw this tannish creature with long straight back antlers. Those are the Elan antelopes. They are the largest and the slowest of the antelope family. Weighing up to one ton and running speeds of 25 miles per hour. Also on your left hand side you may see some large neck creatures. Those are the reticulated giraffes. They can grow up to 19 feet weigh one and a half ton and they do everything standing up including giving childbirth so the first thing the baby giraffe sees is a six foot drop to the head they do have seven vertebrae in their neck just like you and i and they can see in color you may have saw a large bird running by that is the redneck ostrich then grow up to nine feet tall 300 
30 pounds and run up to speeds of 45 miles per hour. That was on your left hand side, but we might get another glimpse of it if we pass this hill and maybe on the other side. These white creatures that you do see on the left hand side with the twirly horns are the 8x antelopes. They are considered an endangered species with less than 300 in the wild. Over on your left hand side, we have a giant tree. This tree has been here since before Bush Gardens was built. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, please hold on to all your loose items, especially your electronics, for we are now traveling over Cell Phone Lake. I'll leave it to your imagination to why we call it that. Serengeti's is a 65-acre free-roaming area that contains many species of African animals that call Tampa Bay their home. As you can see over on your left-hand side, you may see some large moving boulders. Those are the white rhinos. They grow up to 6,000 pounds and run up to speeds of 35 miles per hour. You may see a small little one there. That is Baby Biazzi. He is about two years old. And his name in Swahili means potatoes. So he will always be our little tater tot. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated. I know there's going to be animals on both your left and right hand side, but you must remain seated. We are in a real train and these are real animals. These striped creatures on your right hand side. No, they're not prisoners. They are the Grant Zebras. A uh, known fact about the uh, zebras. Their stripes are actually white and brown, and as they, they age, their stripes get Maggie. browner. The Grand Zebras are the most popular and most photographed of the zebras, so they have the stripes going completely around their bellies and their legs, and they will accommodate the slowest of the herd, so no one is left behind. On your left hand side, you may see some grayish creatures with some horns. Those are the wildebeest. They can run in herds of up to one million. And when they do, that is called the Great Migration. They can kick up such a dust cloud that it can be seen from the International Space Station. There's one over here too. On your right hand side, under the shady tree, we have those water box. Despite their name, they are not aquatic creatures, but they do secrete an oily substance from their fur, and they do have a perfectly heart-shaped nose. You may also see these hidden creatures with some curled back horns. Those are the sable antelopes. Those over they there are the water bucks. Female-dominated species, using the males for reproduction purposes only in an after two years. They are kicked out, so that way they can find another bachelor of their own. Here's another look of the white brown on your left hand side. Now as you can see, they do have those giant horns. Those horns are actually not attached to their skulls, and 
They are not bone. They are keratin, which is made out of the same material that your fingernails. You look up there, you see another ostrich. That you get done at the salon. Yeah, another one way up there. Got some good close up views of the animals this time. So, thanks to the wonderful bush bucks that we got, we almost ate at the smokehouse for free. Now it's time to get a little wet. So we let uh, Shikra get us wet. Now we got to dry off on Shikra. Nah. You sound super happy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I think that's our buddy Alex up there. <laughs> good close-up view since it's been like two or three weeks since the sky ride's been open. Getting some good views of Serengeti and of some of the rides. 
as we can see, Lachlum is running. Any tigers? They got too many trees here in the way. And over there is Kumba. Which is out of commission. Yay! Yeah, actually, it's not out of commission. It's down for annual maintenance. <laughs> and over here is our newest ride, Phoenix Rising. And boy, did she rise. Yeah, they're... Yeah, but there's people on it. I see feet. I see feet on it, but yeah, nobody's in line, which means that's pretty much a good thing. Five minutes. Oh, here it comes. I wonder if we will be flying past it, or will it fly past us? No, I, I think it's gonna get there before we do. Yeah. Yeah. before because of that netting right there That's good enough netting so that way we don't get hit with any uh, shoes. shoes or loose articles. Yeah, they have this whole area over here. What are they going to do with this area over here? Make it a parking lot? I don't know, they dug a hole and they put a whole bunch of flags over there with a mound. Hmm. And they moved all the gravel and uh, the shells and everything else over there on that side. Hmm. And over here, the Serengeti Fire. Still only running one side. Supposedly something broke over here on this side. Hmm. I wonder why. <coughs> and let's see. Can we find any of the elephants? I don't see any back there. I don't see any of them back here, and I don't see any of them up front. I wonder if they're all over here on this side. I don't see any of the elephants out. Uh, I do spot some hollow screen decorations though. All covered up. Yeah, it's all covered up. I wonder if Gert's in uh, her room today. When we come by here, we're gonna have to check room number four. See if Gert's there. Okay. She might not let us in if we don't bring any parties, party favors. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, I didn't see any Nyalas underneath us, but we also have the Thompson Gazelles over here. And then they're all hiding under the tree. Oh, hiding under the shade, yep. It looks like Is a little baby, baby one. Yeah, it looks like a little baby one. Aww. Hi! Oh, and over there is a crane hiding behind the bushes. Now before we saw both Ida and uh, Debbie out. The flag. Well, that was the one way. Now back around, back that way. So currently, it's 19 miles per hour wind speed, and they will have to shut down the sky ride at 20 miles an hour. So. Now that we're coming this way. Ah, yeah, there's Debbie and Keita right there in the water. Look at all those people waiting for the next train. Choo -choo. Ah, here it's coming. <laughs> choo -choo -choo -choo. Over here is usually where the Nialas are. Or somewhere around here. They're probably hiding back there in that little spot right in there. there. Oh, right there. Right there they are. And here comes the train again. And the Serengeti Flyer picking up some speed. Higher, 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 higher! That is a very cool ride. Yeah, just just imagine your ordinary backyard swing on steroids. <laughs> All right, so now back over here to Phoenix Rising. Now that we're gonna be really close. And if you look right there, you see how close that netting is to the track? That's about 10 feet away. Yeah, but when yeah. I, when we were riding it last week, that felt really close. I felt like my feet were gonna hit that netting. But now that we're up close, we can see it up close. And you see, it doesn't go all the way down to the ground, but it's enough to uh, protect us. That's the deal. I think that's the rattly. I think that's the main reason. Is uh, yeah, kids. Kids have already gone back to school. Welcome to checkpoint. Our checkpoint. On point. Enjoy the rest of your ride. Thank you. Our checkpoint. <laughs> and uh, that 
the park the park is I wouldn't say dead but it's not um, it, it's not as crowded as it normally is Come on, Leon. We, yeah, he's making noises. Leon. Leon. Hello. Oh, of course, he's not going to make any more noises now. the work walls up over here let's see uh, there's too much of a line there but yeah their work walls go all the way back there so I heard now this is just what I heard so I take this with a grain of salt all those treetop trails that are up there I heard they're getting refurbished and they're gonna re revitalize the uh, Jangala area there along with that area there up ahead of us. Yes, everybody's favorite bush flyers is coming back and I'll show you exactly what I mean. See the RC car area? Well, there is no more RC cars over here. And they took all the controllers out and they kind of made this look like a little resting area. But yeah, a couple of weeks ago, we saw all the uh, controllers over here. They're all gone. The water has been pretty much drained out of this area. And yep, right next to the bumper cars, we're gonna have the bush flyers. Hi, Leon. How you doing, Leon?
Just a gorgeous creature. Love it. There's another one over here on this side. And what are they doing over here? Uh. Okay. So they have some lighting up over here. It looks like uh, possibly some lighting for a scare zone. I'll come up here around this corner and see if we see anything else. I don't see anything else over here. Just, uh, just the lighting over there. Some poles with lighting. Oh, we could have a possible scare zone right there by the uh, sky ride. squirted us. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like we're gonna get wet. Oh no, turned around too much. Oh, I felt good on the legs. <laughs> Let's watch if we keep going this way. Oh no, we're gonna hit the wall and spin around. Perfect, yes.
lame waterfall. Oh well, that's a wet this time. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that did it. It's currently 2.30 and I know back about like an hour and a half ago, Christian wanted to get his thousand ride on Iron Gwazi. Unfortunately, we were not around in the area. We were in Stanleyville. So I'm sorry, Christian, we couldn't join you on your thousand rides of Iron Gwazi. Uh, I sure hope you had a good ride. I'm sure she heated up enough for you. So you got a nice fast ride in there. Congratulations to Christian on his thousands ride on Iron Gwazi. finally got the netting up on Phoenix Rising and we're gonna take a look at it from on Phoenix Rising see how close it actually gets to our feet we have Ignis protector of the desert The ride sound is not working. Now, we would love to get on Falcon's Fury. But as you can see, it still looks like it's going under tests. So there won't be any Falcon's Fury today. Boohoo. But we'll, we'll head over um, to our next favorite ride, the Serengeti Flyer. Just if you guys haven't heard yet, Happy National Roller Coaster Day <laughs> from the Bush Gardens Junkies. Yeah, okay. Is it really roller coaster day? Are you yep. serious? Oh, today is National Roller Coaster Day, guys. Really? We'll take his word. <laughs> yeah. If you're a past member, you can go by the Gwazi Gifts and get a lanyard. Oh. Oh, All green scan platform. Yeah. And it's only because it's roller coaster day. Yeah. You guys are locked in. 
So I think that's a bus under the air for Hollow Scream. We also have uh, Las Vegas motel rooms over here. Let's uh, check out a part, uh, room number four, I think she said she was in. Go ahead and knock on the door. Miss Skirt, are you in there, Miss Skirt? No. Nope. I guess the party's all over. Hey, here we got Bubba and Jimmy. And I heard Tank was swimming. Ah, yeah, there's Tank swimming. Hey buddy, how's it going Bubba? Hi Jimmy, how you doing? I hear one of you guys are gonna get some food soon. There's a tour coming around. Look at them all lined up like that. Okay, so here we have some more decorations for Hollow Scream. Skunk activity is high. Oh boy. Happy National Roller Coaster Day. Oh boy. 
Yeah. Look at that. Gator's ready to bite you. I wouldn't want to sweep out sleep out here in the swamp area. Nope, nope. So this is gonna be the sawgrass slaughter. I like these decorations. See you, Kyle. What? Oh, pickup truck. So for National Roller Coaster Day, we hopped on every single roller coaster here except for Kumba. And well, we didn't hit Scorpion, but yeah, we we hit Scorpion last week. I think it was last week, but it doesn't matter. We hit it. So, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hop on Iron Gwazi, maybe another run or two. And from there, we're gonna call it a day. So hopefully I might be able to get this up tonight, but if not, it's gonna be Saturday morning and roller coaster day will be done with. favorite roller coasters as our last coaster for today. And here we go. Yeah, you won't die. And you lived. <laughs> we all lived. That'll do it for today with us. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button there. It's very important. It helps the algorithms of YouTube or something from what I heard. Whatever that's supposed to mean. So, uh, what are we doing? What do you mean, what are we doing? We're getting uh, ready to go home. Yeah, I know we're gonna get ready to go home, but um, uh, are we doing anything next week? Uh, what is next week? Next uh, week is... I have no idea. Just just stay tuned. And, and make, sure, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> That way you get notified. Oh. We, we have we have a crew over here having fun. Oh my god! <laughs> so 
we're, we're uh, yeah. That's not how you photobomb. Ah! That's okay. That's you you can come on in. So, uh, until the next time, we'll catch you at the parks. <laughs> the end. <laughs>